Welcome to Embedded C Learnings. In our previous video about IQC communication protocol, we have learned the basics of it like start condition, stop condition, act with the timing diagrams. We have received the good feedbacks from you and also some of them asked us to add tutorials about the I2C arbitration and I2C clock synchronization. So in this video we shall see the I2C bus arbitration. We strongly recommend you to see the previous video to understand the basics of A2C bus communication. A link for this video is available in the description. Also, it will come at the suggestions also in the right side top of this video. Let's move to the I2C bus arbitration. I2C is designed for multi moisture purpose so that in a single bus more than one moisture can be connected as shown in this figure. Here we can see moisture 1 and moisture 2 is connected with slave 1, slave 2 and slave 3 with the single SDA and SCL. Consider a scenario when both the moistures that is moisture 1 and moisture 2 start the communication at the same time. In this condition only the bus arbitration occurs. We will see this clearly in this tutorial. If moisture 1 started the communication by pulling the clock loop, then moisture 2 cannot able to control the clock until the SCL that is serial clock is released by the moisture 1. Also you need to make a note like moisture 2 is considered as a slave in this condition. After the stop bit is observed by the moisture 2, then only the moisture 2 can access the bus so that it can initiate its communication. The physical setup of the I2C bus helps the moisture 2 not to stop, not to stop or disturb the communication when the moisture 1 is communicating. This is the wired and configuration of the I2C bus. As the structure of the I2C bus is wired and conditioned, if one line is pulled low, then the line will stay low. When the moisture 2 changes the line to high, then the line must go high. If not, then the bus is occupied by some other device, which puts the line too low such as moisture 1 here. To explain it is simply, moisture 1 accessed the slave 2, then moisture 2 cannot able to access the slave 2. It can be controlled by the physical setup of the I2C bus that is wired and con configuration. So here we can see this moisture 2 cannot able to access the slave 2 until the moisture 1 releases this slave 2. Moisture 2 will not get its data on the bus as long as there is no stop sequence. It will not touch the line and it leaves the SCL and SDA. Here we can see it will not access until the stop sequence is observed. If the moisture cannot make the data line to go high, then it loses the arbitration and needs to back off and wait until the stop sequence is seen. This is the wait condition. Later, it can check and make attempt when the line is free. So now it can access as long as moisture 1 released. We can understand the 
I2C bus arbitration with a simple example. Let us take a small example where Monster 1 and Monster 2 wants to communicate with the same slave with the address w one that is 1111001. Monster 1 wants to write data 0101001 and Monster 2 wants to write the data 0110111101. To the slave which master will win we, here we can see both the master 1 and master 2 write the slave address and also the read write bit that is right the slave acknowledges it and so forth the both masters are in the impression that it owns the bus because so far they have transmitted some data on the bus so the slave acknowledges and both the masters tries to write the data to the slave. Master 1 writes 010 and master 2 writes 011 up to 01 and 01. The first two digits are same and the third digit is different. Which one will win? That is which one will be written in the bus actually? That is the arbitration. So, 0 or 1. Which one will come here? The moment when the data does not match, master 2 arbitration will be lost and it may backs off because master 2 waits, tries to move the SDA line high and as the data on the SDA remains low. As it is a wired and configuration, as Master 1 already occupies it, that is, the Master 2 cannot able to perform the right operation. Here we can see Master 2 tries to pull it high to right 1, but Master 1 tries to pull it low by writing 0 to write the 0 so as it is a wired AND condition this 0 only will win so 1 will not go in the bus so master 2 lost the arbitration so all the master 1 written data will be available in the bus the master 2 does not get its data on the bus as long as there has been no stop sequence presence on the bus till then it won't touch the bus. This is how the I2C bus arbitration works. Post your doubts in the comment section. We accept the feedbacks from you. In our next tutorial, we shall see I2C bus synchronization. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.